Greetings Church, this is a short exhortation to share with you and I hope that you will be encouraged to know that God has placed a seed of greatness in you when you were born again. The Incorruptible Seed Let us read together 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God which lives and abides forever. Have you ever felt in your life that there is something more? There may be a feeling of despair where we don't see our true potential in life. We may ask questions like, why does everyone else seem to have lots of accomplishments, but not me? This feeling affects all ages of life. Doesn't matter if you are a teenager, an adult, or getting on with age. This is what we want, full potential. We should believe that everyone came into this world fully loaded with potentials given by God, and no one was born with nothing, no matter what anyone feels. Some may say they have no talents. Their father said that they were good for nothing, or the teacher said they are completely useless. All these are just lies from the enemy to distract us from realizing our full potential. But the good news is this, when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour, God has placed an incorruptible seed, a non-perishable seed in us. And this seed, I call it the seed of greatness, the DNA of God, will enable us to reach our fullest potential in life. Let us read Ezekiel chapter 17 verse 23 together. It will produce branches and bear fruit and become a splendid cedar. Birds of every kind will nest in it and they will find shelter in the shade of its branches. So, the seed that God has placed inside of us through our Lord Jesus Christ should produce in us like this big strong tree where we can bear good fruits and be a blessing to others around us. It is also stated in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, how marvelous that we as children of God can have such a privilege. A word of caution though, if there is an incorruptible seed, there is also a corruptible seed. The seed that we had before we were born again. A corrupted seed will not reach its full potential because it is flawed and if not careful, even after we are born again, we can be overshadowed by corruption and sin. When we turn away from God, let us read 1 John chapter 3 verse 9. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. We see this in life very often when people, including ourselves, in some way, do not reach their full intended potential because some kind of sin that has crept into their lives, restricting, limiting healthy growth. So, we want to thank Jesus that because of Him, we were given the incorruptible seed. We are grateful that Jesus came to restore our lives from the enemy who steals, kills and destroys and we have been made a new creation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Brothers and sisters, we ought to be constantly aware of what is packed inside of us by God. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 says, And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. And in Romans chapter 8 verse 17, We are heirs of God and co-heirs with Jesus. So if we are in Christ by having his seed planted in our hearts, then we are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. We have not inherited all the blessings that are available through Jesus our Lord. Isn't that great? 
Now we can reach our fullest potential. Doesn't matter what age we are in, we can bear lots of fruits and be a blessing to those around us, and to our nation, and to the rest of the world. A high calling, yeah? We do not need to compare with others, because each one of us, we are unique in our own ways, and that's how God has created us. Different, but special, so that we can be a unique blessing to one another. Last but not least, God has not forgotten about our seed. For those with children, spiritual or physical, there is also a promise from God for our seed. In Genesis chapter 22, verse 18, this is what God said to Abraham. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So God promised to bless the seed of Abraham because Abraham obeyed his voice. So therefore, when we obey the Lord, our seed will also be blessed. This is the promise of God. And now, let us come before our God and thank Him for putting the incorruptible seed of greatness that is the Word of God, that is Jesus. Ask the Lord for forgiveness for the times that we have sinned against Him and jeopardize our lives which Jesus has purchased with His blood. We want to reach our fullest potential in the world. Spend some time to pray for ourselves, our spouse, and children, so that they too may come to the realization that God has placed a seed of greatness in them, and we can all reach our full potential in God.